Uh, Gunther, uh, how is the uh, reassembly of Pod 6 doing? Well, as, as you know, it was badly damaged when we received it, and we've done a reconstruction job based on our research from the other five parts, and, uh, well, this is clearly a totally new design again. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Yes. A very large chrome piece on this one. Look. Oh, they open up. The part was badly damaged around arrival, but we also noticed uh, that the transporter brakes found on all the other landing sites were not present here. It could be that the dark menace, uh, when encountering the pod, might have possibly devoured everything in and around the pod. That would explain why it broke up. That could be, uh, could be a possibility. Yes, definitely. Hello once again friends and welcome back to the Bradford Rand Institute. We're here with Pod 7, a most remarkable pod, an unusual specimen. At Gunther we were examining it uh, and we noticed it was for the first time side opening. Yes, uh, it's a very unique design. We haven't seen uh, pods like this before. We still have the unique chrome piece here which I believe is a navigation system. We have the same markings but we have something very unique. There's no opening in front but we open the pot at the side and as you can see the minifig pilot is sitting inside. What we've been speculating here uh, is that uh, this pot, uh, given its unusual construction, it seems to be a hasty construction and what, we, uh, what we're thinking is that it was uh, constructed uh, on a different uh, location to the others. It seems to be that the threat of the Dark Menace has uh, increased in intensity in, in recent times in LEGO Universe, hence the more uh, let's say, rudimentary construction uh, that you can see thusly. One other theory we'd like to bring to your attention is the, is the finder's uh, own theory, in fact, that uh, the pod has a peculiar ozone-type smell, and he's been speculating that as the pod has uh, burst into the Earth's atmosphere, it's picked up uh, particles from the ozone, hence the uh, rather peculiar odor. Yes. My theory is that uh, the pod does not enter our solar system uh, that way it actually appears very briefly before it lands but as we all know when lightning strikes ozone is formed at ground level so maybe a huge energy burst would accompany the, the part when it enters uh, our dimension. 